We're joined now by three titans in the news. Music entrepreneur Scooter Braun, CEO of Hive America, known for launching stars like Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, and music executives Pierre P. Thomas, Kevin Coach, K. Lee, the co-founders of Quality Control, the record label leading hip-hop with acts like Lil Baby, City Girls, and Migos, both named Billboard Executives of the Year. Uh, welcome to each of you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Uh, great to have you on the beat tonight, given all this. Uh, Scooter, let me start with you. Tell us about this deal uh, and what it means to you. Um, you know, I brought my company, Ithaca, into Hive uh, about two years ago and teamed up with an incredible entrepreneur named Chairman Bang, who's responsible for BTS and so many other incredible groups out of Asia. And we decided to put our companies together and, and become one world company. Um, and, you know, what was very important to me was bring opportunities with our platform to other entrepreneurs in the space, people who nurture voices, nurture uh, talent. And I go back 20 years with Coach K. I go back about eight years with P. And I've admired them, you know, throughout my career. And uh, to have this opportunity to come together as one company is really a full circle moment. Yeah, it's definitely a big deal for the music industry, for the culture, and a lot of artists that people are listening to. I'm, I'm curious, similar question, what does it mean to you, Coach K, and what, what does this put you in a position to do? I mean, it puts us in a position to, um, you know, go in business with a company that's forefronting technology and have the global reach of uh, the world that we can, you know, get in business and take our company to, a, you know, another place that we always dream of going, you know? Yeah. Uh, and P, when you look at that global reach, as you mentioned it, uh, you guys have a catalog where if our viewers don't know every name by heart, uh, I could tell you their kids do and their grandkids do, and we're listening to this hip-hop music all around the world. Uh, in one of your materials, you mentioned that Lil Baby alone has over 30 uh, billion streams so same question to you what does it mean and why do you think uh this hip-hop that comes out of america out of atlanta connects so much around the world i mean because it's just culture you know what i'm saying it's 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 cultural and um the, the reason why i'm excited about the expansion and this deal with hive and scooter is because it's gonna give us the reach and give our artists the reach to expand cultural impact around the globe. You know what I'm saying? Chairman Bang, I really admire him as an entrepreneur. Um, what mostly impresses me about him and Scoot is that, you know, Chairman Bang come from a from being a producer. You know what I'm saying? So he's actually out there. He's not just, you know, somebody that's up in his, you know, office and just calling shots. He's actually a music producer and um, um, great businessman, him and Scooter. They um they see our vision, they understand where we're trying to go, and culturally doing this type of business as black entrepreneurs with a company as such as Hive, um, it's a great it's a great it's just a great way for us to expand globally. Yeah, you mentioned yeah you mentioned entrepreneurship and Coach K. I'm curious about that as well because you guys have built something that has high value, and you built it from the ground up in your community. Um, I guess this is a, a harder question, but how'd you do that? How'd you build something that people like Scooter and internationally there's such interest in? So, how, how do we how do we build it internationally? Yeah, how'd you build? I mean, you built this and and it has value. I mean, we built it brick by brick. You, you know what I'm saying? When we was when we started the company, me and P always had big goals and big visions, and we started to take it upon ourselves to move in different territories. Because we knew, like, when streaming when streaming came, we started before streaming really hit. But when streaming came, it was like at the push of a button, your music was in every territory. Now, now it was, our, our, it was on us to go into these territories and make these relationships so that our business could, you know, grow globally. And with with us doing that, we seen, you know, we we seen the little yachties and we seen the little babies and the Migos and the We we seen you know, what came from us moving around and, and um, going into these, these different territories to build the business. Yeah. Uh, and Scooter, a lot of it comes back to relationships. Can you tell us more about the relationships you have here uh, with, with, as mentioned, these uh, entrepreneurs and the artists and what this means to you? Because without that trust, I imagine 
you don't get off the ground. Um, <clears throat> well, look, I'll say for me, like I said in the beginning, it was a full circle moment, but it's also, it's very personal. Um, I got my training in the music business, not in New York, not in Los Angeles, but in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, a guy named Shakir Stewart was the first person to recognize me in the streets of Atlanta throwing parties and gave me an opportunity. Then it was a guy named Shaka Zulu. Then it was a guy named Jermaine Dupree. Um, and these guys kind of put me into the business. And, you know, what you said earlier about the acts that these guys represent and the things that they do, these are the voices of their community, you know? And I think one of the things that was so important to me in this deal was to make sure that we partnered, but they also had the resources and the autonomy to continue doing exactly what they're doing because I can't speak for their communities. They can, you know, and I'm a fan of what they do. I'm a fan of these artists. I'm a mm. fan of the work that these guys do. And, you know, for us, it was just really important to one, have partners who understand the culture two have partners that are part of the culture. And then three have partners that have the freedom to continue nurturing that culture. Um, and just to end it with a fun story for me and coach K, yeah. uh, 20 years ago, Coach K and I called each other and he's like, I was 21 years old, 22 years old. And uh, he said, you know, do you want to go out to this place called Compound? Uh, it was a club that was ran by a guy named Alex Gidewan and another guy named Michael Gidewan, who unfortunately just passed away. And I just want to acknowledge him because uh, he was a big part of all of our growth in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, and Coach and I went to Compound and when we left, we got in his car and we drove around Atlanta and we looked at each other and I can give you the exact quote. It was, if they let us in this game, we're never going to get it back. And we both respectively went on our own trajectories of our careers. So for the three of us to come back together 20 years later and be one company is really just an incredible moment. Wow. Coach K, how about that? I mean, it's, a, I mean, it's, it's all troops to that. You know, me and Scooter used to really run around the city of Atlanta and put work in, you know, like we were laughing earlier because Scooter used to really throw these parties and he had the college kids. So my artist at the time I had young Jeezy, I was like, yo, I got to get him over into this crowd and vice versa. So it's, it's kind of the same way as how we took our artists now and moved them globally. It's like, we got to, we got to take, you know, I had to take him and, moving to a different culture of people, you know what I'm saying, which Scooter had. And then we just kept, through our, really through our whole careers, we always talked. You know, as he was moving this way, I was moving this way, we always come together and have conversation. And I think it's really a beautiful thing today that, you know, we can come under one umbrella. I love that. And Scooter's talked to us about that on The Beat before. And, and P, I'm, I'm curious if what you think about all that, because what you're telling us is that when you bring people together, we can actually share culture, share moments, socialize. Like, that's what music really does, right? And you could talk about the trap as a limitation, as something about the system, um, but then trap music seems to be inspiring people all over the world um, to transcend, just like the way in the old days, a lot of artists like Scarface, right? Because of the idea that you could overcome. I'm, I'm curious what you think about all that, Pete. The whole purpose of us, um that was the whole purpose of us even doing this, you know what I'm saying? By bringing all of us together and being able to grow the artists and grow the business into different territories. A lot of times in, in, in our business and black culture, we sort of get, we sort of get stuck in a box and you don't get the global reach mm. that a lot of the other cultures get. And, you know, with this partnership, you know what I'm saying? Scooter's been out here on the ground, you know, coming from uh, Atlanta background and in the world he in with building business and us being in business with him and how this should bring more reach for us than we ever had to just, like you said, bring everything together culturally and be able to capitalize to have a bigger reach. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. Amazing. As we wrap up, you know, some of our viewers will remember Coach K. We had Lil Baby on and we talked about everything from you know, his humility, his approach with his grandmother, to meeting with the vice president, to activism, to his music. Uh, I guess one question, Coach K, would be, um, now that you have this deal going, um, will there be a movie getting made every night? And is it possible to drip too hard? Is that even possible, Coach K? Not to drip even hard. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Scooter. Big movie. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, bad, I like Coach Cup. <laughs> nah, like P said, big moves for a big movie, and we were dripping really hard. <laughs> Respect. L listen, <laughs> you know, I really appreciate you doing this here. The fun part for me is these guys don't do interviews, right? We don't, these guys are always behind the camera, and they've been building and nurturing some of the, uh, all of our favorite artists. And, uh, and I think it's really important that people see these guys and understand the entrepreneurs that they are and appreciate what they're building um, because they're going to inspire a lot of people. And I'm, I'm excited to be their partners as of today. It makes a lot of sense. This is a big international deal, which is why we're excited to, to have it on the beat. Uh, so a shout out to what you guys are doing. And here in the news, you know, we deal with a lot of negative stories, a lot of things that aren't working. That's part of the news. Um, here we're, we're learning about and learning directly from people who are not only creating culture, but creating really successful international businesses. And, and I think that's great for the community. So let me say officially thank you to Coach KP and Scooter. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.